Hi guys, welcome to Tesla DIY. In today's episode, I'm gonna show you how I installed my Blackview DR650S dash cam. Okay, now we're gonna see the smallest garage in the world. There is. This is a Tesla Model X with um, Autopilot 2 hardware and software. And um, I'm gonna show you how I installed everything in my car. I took a bunch of pictures and I think they will show it pretty well. So, uh, yeah. So, now I'm gonna show you how I mounted the rear camera. Um, first thing you need is some decent light. I use uh, this kind of LED light. Um, you can just hang it under underneath uh, the light. You can pop out this plastic thingy and you can hang anything up here. It's a very useful thing. Um, then you need to take out everything from your trunk. I removed all the floor plates so I could sit comfortably inside the trunk. Then you need to lift up your gate all the way up before you can take off this cover. Uh, it is very important that you pull this cover straight out. Don't bend it downwards or upwards. Just try to pull it straight out. Um, if you do that, you don't end up with a lot of broken plastic. Um, Mine was actually pretty easy to remove <clears throat> because it had been removed before at the service center where I broke some of the parts. So it was pretty easy to <laughs> remove. I had to glue it together and now it's fine. So as I mentioned before, this is uh, Autopilot 2 hardware and uh, the channel on the windshield is a little bit different. It's actually uh, easier to get um, all the wires in the channel. Uh, it took me about one and a half hour to do, but it wasn't as scary <laughs> as I thought. Um, it's very important that you have good light in the car and that you use uh, plastic pry tools uh, that are nice and round, no sharp edges. And um, yeah, I'm gonna show you on those pictures how I did it. So here we can see the camera, it's mounted with the wires and everything. Um, the first thing you need to do is to remove this cover. Uh, I use some pry tools, the smallest one, uh, and tape as well, so I don't make any scratches. And I gently um, use the pry tools on both sides and just slide it down. And um, when you do this, you will see two Torx screws um, which you need to remove. Um, then you can pull down this cover, this big cover. This cover, it's mounted with some metal um, clips or what you call it. Um, and you actually need to use some kind of force. It's uh, pretty well mounted. When you get this um, off, you can also remove the mirror. Uh, you just put it out from this ball joint. Um, it's actually pretty easy to take it off, <laughs> but it's not so easy to put it on again. So, um, if I would do it again, I think I will try to make this 
and just yeah I will just leave it like this and I think it will give me enough space to to work on this so yeah you decide you can take it off you need to use pretty much force to to push it on again I was a little bit afraid that um, some glue or something will uh, will uh, yeah give after but it didn't so yeah uh, when you go get off this cover you can begin to uh, take off this plastic uh, cover or trim um, use your smallest pry tools and just push them between the windshield and this cover and uh, with every I don't know inch and a half maybe um, you will hear that uh, uh, yeah that it gives away uh, or gives after so just use your pry tool and just pull it gently down till it's loose um, when you do this be careful because under this cover uh, on this side actually um, this plastic channel is attached to another part here so just be careful don't break it yeah so when you take off this trim you will see a long white plastic cover uh, or channel where all the wires um, goes to all three cameras and uh, mirror in front of here uh, so we have to be careful those wires are very thin don't use any force or sharp uh, things um, I chose to remove the channel um, to get more space for uh, both of the uh, wires to my Blackview camera. Um, I think I could just leave it on there, but uh, I didn't take any chances, so I just took it off uh, and I kept it in case of I don't know something. Um, yeah, when you put all the wires inside the channel you just make them just pull them inside of here um, they can go this way all the way all the way here uh, at this point uh, those two wires will split one of those can just continue down here uh, this will be your power source while the other wire will continue going back to the falcon wing door uh, and it will end up in the rear camera as you see in the pictures I attached the cable goes in here I continue to go up here all the way underneath this cover use your pry tools and uh, yeah take your time it will uh, look very nice the cable goes inside here uh, here you can just pull it put all the cable you can inside and um, try to fish it out from the trunk inside the trunk again you need a lot of light gently lift up this 
rubber ceiling. You can lift it up from here to all the way to the other side. And then if you gently pull this roof liner down, you will see your wire that have to end up here. So when you manage to fish it out here, just pull all the excess cable out. And the next thing you have to do is to, as I said, remove this cover. Just remember to pull it straight out. Don't push it downwards or upwards. If you don't want to break anything, just put it straight out. You need to use some force. You need to use your pry tools. Um, yeah. When you do that, you can gently pull out this rubber pipe where all the wires go to the lift gate. You take it out here and out here. And uh, when you have removed this, you need to pull a string um, or a piece of rope through it. Uh, it's very easy to do it if you use some silicone spray, some kind of lubricant. I think silicone spray is the best. Um, you have to pull the string through it and attach your wire to it and pull it up again. In order to get your camera in the center of the windshield, I actually used one of the holes on the lift gate. Uh, you will see you will see it on one of the photos. Um, inside of here, it's a hole. It's dead center. So if you use a um, little bit of tape or something and just tape it on the windshield, you will exactly know exactly where the center of the windshield is. Before you glue the camera on, you should sit inside of your trunk and just close it. Uh, connect your camera to your phone and you know see where you want to have it before you glue it on. Like I mentioned before, uh, I use some silicone spray to be able to pull the cable through this uh, rubber pipe. I also use some silicone spray on the each end of this just to be able to push it on again. It helped a lot. It will save you a lot of time. When your camera is attached, before you put on this cover again, make sure that the cable is um, fastened with some cable ties to the existing cables under this cover. In order to record 24-7 um, with the Blackview camera, you need constant 12 volt power. To get this, you need your 12, 12 volt cable to go up here, all the way around here down the A pillar all the way down there you can just push it in between those two covers all the way down here to make it all easier you can remove this cover it's pretty easy just use your pry tools and be careful so the cable goes down here all the way inside there then you can just fish it out underneath here. Um, here I made an OBD2 plug, which provides 12 volt to the camera. Here we can see the camera. Uh, it's mounted just underneath this 
cover uh, in order to get your lens dead center it's important that you connect it to your to your phone to your Wi-Fi and um, so you can see the image through your phone while you are gluing it on and this way you will have it dead center so this is it. I hope you liked my video. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below and I will try to answer it as well as I can. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more of my upcoming videos. Bye. You know what? I almost forgot something and it's very cool. You know, I've installed a Wi-Fi 4G LTE router in my car. It looks like this. We have a SIM card. And it connects with my Blackview camera. So I can watch live videos from my car on my phone or PC or MacBook. It's pretty cool. So if you miss your car, you want to see what's going on, you just log on your account and uh, watch live feed from your car through a uh, cloud service that uh, Blackview provides.